Hi, this is Thundi from BorderWork.com and today we'll be doing a review of this guy, the HTC Titan 2. Yes, this is the 4G LTE uh, successor to the original Titan on the AT&T network. It is the second 4G LTE Windows Phone device on the network. It's also got that 60 megapixel camera. So let's go ahead, jump in and find out if this is actually worth the purchase. <laughs> All right, so let's take a better look at our Titan 2. Now you see it's got this um, 4.7 inch Super LC display. It gives you some nice clear and sharp photos. Uh, it's got a 1.3 inch front facing camera that we know. Of course, the distinguishing factor, of course, to the Titan 1 of course, is that um, 60 megapixel camera sensor at the back with dual LED flash. Um, this is not the battery cover. This is just actually a cover for the SIM. The battery is not removable. And once you take this off, this actually um, uh, powers off the device. Of course, you do have your traditional power button, volume rocker, sorry, camera button, volume rocker, power button on top, 3.5 mm jack, your mini charging port. So let's take a good look at the uh, Titan 2. Now, weight wise, um, feels good in the hands. It's not too heavy. Um, it's not too, um, it's not too, uh, it's not too weighted in the hands. I'm going to change the background here. It looks a little washed out on, on the screen here. Uh, it's not, that's not really the case, but, uh, let's go ahead and, oops, sorry. Change this out. Use, uh, something else. Let's go with, uh, let's go with the green. Since my boy, the Parsons have made a playoff. So anyway, so here is your, uh, of course, your Titan 2. You've got your slew of AT&T apps like Navigator, AT&T Scan, a couple more here. Um, you also have a HTC preferred apps like Location, which helps you as a GPS. And I, it, I strongly suggest if you pick up any HTC Windows phone, you should definitely pick up that. It's a very, very good um, navigation uh, application. Um, <clears throat> Now this device, of course, is a 4G LTE device. So one of the cool things we're going to check out is uh, 4G LTE speeds. See how fast it actually is. So speed tests, of course, we can just quickly begin. Uh, that's looking kind of slow right now. We got an LTE here. It says five, but sometimes these hap things happen. Um, okay, let's do that again. Run one more time. Okay, so now we're getting some good LTE speeds, 15. Now the average speeds we've got are about 20 megabits per second down and about 7 megabits uh, per second up. Uh, so run one more again. It's about 12, so it's kind of lowered now, but if you can see here, you have fat 15, 12, 15, 5, 21, 19, 24. So it's matching standard um, at and uh, 4G LTE speeds, which is nice. Now the other key factor or key feature actually with this device is actually the 16 megapixel sensor. And taking a look at it, of course, you can't really notice any differences here um, with the sensor, but we'll go into the settings and show you some of the things that are different with the sensor for this. So of course, you have your scene modes, which you can change. You have effects, which actually have a slew of effects you can actually change, and you can take photos in those effects, both in video, and uh, I believe also you can do the same thing in photos. Um, you do have your smile caption on, which is a new thing. You have resolution. Now, the resolution does not detect the aspect ratio. It's still all 4 by 3 not 16 by 9 Don't know why it's not added there. You've got your white balance. You can change your brightness from normal to the highest brightness, all depending on what you're looking for. Your contrast can be changed to Your saturation can be changed. Uh, your sharpness can be changed. ISO also. Red eye reduction. We can turn that on to take some of that off. Your metered mode. Your flicker adjustment between 50 and 60 so on and so forth. So you do have that with the uh, camera. We we'll switch over to the video mode, same thing. Video stabilization also uh, stabilizes there, sharpness, contrast, brightness, and uh, stereo recording on 720. In effects, you can actually record directly in the effect you are thinking of. So if I have, say, this uh, PS Vita card here, you can see I can go to grayscale and I can change the grayscale there. I can change from grayscale and I can go to posterize and I can do that too. So I can record directly 
into whatever um, recorded mode that I have. Now I'm sure you guys can already see at the top right hand corner the uh, um, <clears throat> the video uh, sample video. So you can definitely check out sample videos. We didn't record any of the effects, but just just showing you. Now the video quality um, is okay at best. Even though it has a 16 megapixel sensor, um, it didn't do a good job at recording audio and video uh, for us. Uh, so it was something that was disheartening uh, to see. Um, the video audio quality was terrible and video quality was okay, it was good. Um, and it came to take its stills. Um, granted, when you're viewing the stills on your device here, for instance, um, go into camera roll, let's kind of scroll through, they actually look pretty good on the device. So you can see that they look, they look nice and sharp and clear. Um, but when you actually put it on your computer, you can see it's, uh, it's a lot of noise um, in there. Not, not a lot of, um, um, it, it's not crisp and sharp as you would expect. So um, that's something to note with the camera itself. <clears throat> now when it pertains to, um, like I said, when it pertains to listening to music, it does a good job with uh, music playback with, through the headphones even also with the speakers and it can just quickly show you there again um, been listening to Foo Fighters way too much so I might as well play that for you uh, sorry I do apologize my Bluetooth is connected so I was playing off my Bluetooth headset but if I go in there of course quickly take this off Go back to music playback, and yes, let's continue. So you can hear that good, good speakers off the phone. Voice quality is great works well had no issues with it no drop call so uh that's pretty much it uh for the uh titan 2 so let's go ahead and uh round up this review I spent time with the htc titan 2 and i can tell you first of all hardware wise i do like the hardware it's got a brushed aluminum uh finish which i think is very nice very solid very smooth it's got that curved uh, bottom lip you know we found with the g1 initially um, and that solid, solid, nice. It feels good in the hands. I mean, it's a little, it's a little heavier than you expect, but actually feels good. Now the 16 uh, megapixel camera in the back. What do you think? Does it work well? Is it good? And uh, it's not so great. I'm not a big fan of this camera. I think it's okay. Um, do it doesn't do a good job, well, especially with audio. Um, when you're recording audio uh, off the the camera, video it's okay. 720p, but it's still mm, not that great. As far as steels, doesn't shoot. It's uh, in uh, widescreen resolution, 16 by 9. It's all 14 by 3, and even at 16 megapixels, it still looks um, okay at best. There's, there's no huge improvements to the camera. Now, when it comes to uh, 4G LTE, LTE speeds are great. Agency's done a great job with the LTE network. Uh, speeds of up to 24 megabits per second standard. Very good upload speeds, about five to seven, which a lot of devices should have lower. So good LTE speeds with this device. Um, when it comes to battery life, battery life I think is good. You've got solid battery life. You, you know, uh, at 4G, I, I mentioned I had uh, close to about a day and a day plus 12 hours. And then with LTE, um, I had about 24 hours or so of battery life. So very solid battery life from this device. It's a nice device. It's not something I, I'm not gonna poop it away and say this is a terrible device. It's a nice device. It's well built, solid. Um, so things that are lacking that I, I thought would be great were the camera, which fell short of my expectations. But overall, still good, good call quality. Nice call quality, uh, runs Windows uh, 7.5, very smooth, no hiccups on that aspect, and it's a good device. Is it, is it worth uh, $199? Mm, probably not. I don't think so um, at, at that price range. So uh, that is pretty much my take on the uh, the Titan 2. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's uh, Border Work with 2O. So this is Thunder saying thank you. And uh, always enjoy entertainment.